Lawmakers in Missouri have agreed to give Governor Mike Parson access to billions of unspent CARES Act funding. Our Capitol reporter Emily Manley joins us live now to explain how there's a deadline to spend this money, but also the big news from the Capitol, the governor bringing in 600 hospital beds and hundreds of people to staff them. Emily. That's right, Sandy. Governor Parson earlier this evening announced that the state of Missouri is going to be getting some help, and it's coming from an outside health care company because it's a problem that we've been hearing for weeks, and that's hospitals are running out of room to treat their patients. So tonight in the 5 o'clock hour, we brought it to you live. Governor Parson announcing that Visient, it's a health care company that will bring in about 760 health care staff, whether it be registered nurses or even respiratory therapists. They will be coming in to Missouri to be able to help with the staffing in hospitals across the state, which also means that there will be more than 600 beds that will also be coming with that staff as well. This is going to be about a 12 week program that is going to last until the end of February, and it's going to be paid for by CARES Act funding. And that leads to what the Senate did today. They passed a $1.3 billion bill that would allow Governor Parson to spend the remaining CARES Act funding here in the state. Governor Parson giving the chance that he has to spend that money by the end of the year. And if he doesn't, it goes back to the federal government. Now the the bill is headed to Governor Mike Parson's desk after the House passed that bill about two weeks ago. The money will go to things like PPE, school nutrition programs, and job training grants. Today, the floor's debate, though, lasted less than an hour, which was surprising. But senators weren't discussing the budget bill while they were on the floor. Instead, they were talking about a bill filed yesterday by a St. Louis senator to limit the power of municipalities to call for shutdowns. We have people's rights being completely trampled on in St. Louis County. Um, you know, uh, restaurants are being shut down for a second time, and um, it's com complete abandonment of co people's constitutional rights. Churches have been shut down, and this is completely unacceptable. Now, this bill comes after St. Louis County Executive Dr. Sam Page put a stop to indoor dining. The legislative action would allow for a two-week maximum shutdown for over a two-year period. If anything more would happen, it would have to be passed by the General Assembly. That is something that lawmakers will be addressing during next session, which starts in January. Now, you might be thinking, didn't I hear about COVID liability for this current special session? Well, you you did. I reported on it. But Governor Parson told lawmakers yesterday that he's asking them to hold that COVID liability until this, when they come back for regular session in January, meaning this special session is now over. Reporting for our Missouri Capitol Bureau tonight, I'm, I'm Emily Manley, Fox 2 News.